they were ordered to load the fuel again onto the trucks. The UPDF Divisional Court Marshal sitting in Mogadishu on Monday handed sentences ranging from one year to three years after finding the soldiers, who included both senior and junior ranking officers, guilty of misconduct and violating the rules and regulations of peacekeeping. The sentences were read to the soldiers by the chairman of the Court Marshal Brigadier General Dick Olum, who warned that UPDF will not tolerate any incident of misconduct among its officers serving in peacekeeping missions. You, the accused persons, are hereby convicted of the charges against you and uh, this conviction is given under my hand and seal. Those convicted are Major Sulait who was sentenced to three years imprisonment and dismissed with disgrace from the Uganda People's Defense Forces. Major Kundu Weyaula sentenced to one year and demoted to the rank of captain while Warrant Officer Tu Kakoza Matthew was sentenced to 18 years imprisonment. Staff Sergeant Abbott Richard sentenced to 18 months in prison and demoted to sergeant and captain secondary ronald handed a two-year prison term and also dismissed with disgrace from the army others are lance corporals kasule budala and atujirile dennis both sentenced to 18 months in prison and demoted to the rank of private private tibaijuka expeditor two years imprisonment and dismissed with disgrace and private mwanga noah given 18 months in prison in addition to imprisonment at Luzira Prison in Uganda, three of the soldiers were dismissed with disgrace from the army. Major Sulaid Saifu, you are hereby sentenced to three years imprisonment and dismissal with disgrace from the UPDF. This means that they will leave the army without any benefits, unlike many of their colleagues who have served the mission with diligence and upheld high standards of discipline as required by the Ugandan government. General Olum defended the penalties, saying the soldiers had not only damaged the image of the UPDF and AMISOM, but had also endangered the lives of others. The sentence that sends message to the rest of the military personnel, whether back home in the country or in any other mission out of the country, is a message that goes to the soldiers and the officers of the UPDF. That you do a bad thing, then you face the law. The nine are part of 18 soldiers who were earlier arraigned before the same court for selling fuel belonging to the mission. They were charged after five soldiers were arrested in June in connection to the illicit sale of fuel in a scam involving civilians in Mogadishu.